Okay, GBP. Um, let's see. Mm, I can ride this for a little bit longer and try to see uh, what ends up happening. Yeah. We're at 2.7 right now. Nice little play. So we choke. Okay. This third position is still running. <clears throat> we close out these others. But this third position, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Because uh, we're about to break even here. So, well, actually, the, the smart thing to do is just to set this to break even, is where we'd be, honestly. Because I don't know exactly what's going to happen here. Um, but it looks like we're, we're not going to go down further. God, that's such a level, too. Man, I think we're going to react here. So, I'm about to do something that you probably should never do. Um, so I would lift this, boom, no break even, and leave it where it is. So I'm risking 1% still on this. And the reason I want to do that on this is because I want to see a reaction right here where the 200 EMA and the 50 EMA converge. You see how it happened here, and there was a freaking explosion. Um, a lot of times when you can sandwich the EMAs, there's a reaction. So I'm looking for a big reaction to push this down. So I'm going to let that ride. And I'm risking 1%. So y'all, y'all got, y'all hear me right now clearly. That's that's what we're doing. Okay. Anyways, um, kind of slanted downwards on GPP, JPY. Um, this is an entry, but it's a weird entry. Like there's no pullback. You would have just had to kind of get lucky on that. And also play off of this trend line, obviously. But, uh, can't hit them all. Can't win them all. That is an interesting spot, though. Man, all these GPP pairs. I'm kind of slanted down, but... <clears throat> this is the entry back here. Yeah. It was a couple of days ago. You just kind of ride that thing down, all the way down. Like back in here or something. June 25th. I don't know. Something like that, man. Yeah. This is the same area. Interesting. Yeah, um, so this is a high. It's a, it's definitely a level. I wouldn't say that this is just a single horizontal line. I would make this a channel, so something like that. Looking to react from there. But we missed it, so we missed it, whatever. GBB CAD. 2-5 from positions at 8%. I'm not mad at that. I'm already out of all these, so it looks like I picked a pretty good time to do that because it rolled up on me. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So yesterday I got out perfectly, and then it pulled back today, and actually went beyond pullback, which is not what we want. And MACD is definitely slanted up see that it's interesting GBP AUD same story it's funny how the pairs kind of react similar way um, if you're paying attention to that same area same level same same uh, time frame 25th ish last month drop down have been able to make some money there, but I wasn't paying attention to it. That's fine. This is so I'm missing trades, and we still identified 40% in the market that we could have pulled out of the market, which is crazy. Sky's the limit. 
Okay, CADJPY. Um, looks like an opportunity to drop in here, but. Yeah. This is six point five. Yeah, okay. So I needed to close this out. If I haven't closed this, if I didn't close this here, then I close it today. And we'd be at one percent. Again, I'd rather just be conservative now. Um, two, six. It's out. Zero point nine four percent. It's fine. I'll take it. It's totally fine, man. Um, that's assuming that we didn't actually have a property here, right? Obviously. So. at the euro pairs. CADCHF, uh, obviously you want to take this down. Um, not up, I guess what I, uh, I wonder why I didn't draw my actual stuff in here. Yeah, I'm not sure. And then I thought this was going to go up, so I lost here. This is from yesterday, I guess. Uh, except for I didn't like, I don't know if I didn't take it or if I was just marking it, but not. Not taking it. I don't know. So I'm going to just make this negative. I'll just say that this was a loss. Okay, I'm say we're in this right now, and now I'll get out, so I'm at 4%. Okay, so that's what that looks like, I'm out 4% from here. On this trade, um, yeah. All right, flip to the next video.